a call to action as hundreds of scientists and political leaders gather in San Francisco today ahead of a climate change summit. KPX 5's Jackie Ward tells us it comes on the heels of a landmark bill signed by California's governor. Carbon pricing is here. All you need to do is do it. Create the mechanism. Governor Jerry Brown welcomed political leaders, business leaders, and scientists to San Francisco who want to learn more about global warming and what California is doing about it. This just one day after he signed what many are calling an ambitious law that mandates California become carbon free in less than 30 years. Back in 2002, a state law mandating 20% green energy was passed. Then in 2015, a law required 50%. Now the new goal is 60% by 2030 and 100% by 2045. We're not going to solve the problem of global warming without a lot of problems, without a lot of controversy, without a lot of heartache. But we got to keep our eye on the ball and keep moving forward. There's concern that such a drastic shift in energy usage may deter businesses from coming to California, a state where manufacturers are already reportedly paying 72% premium over the national rate for industrial rates. I think betting on technology is, is a concern for manufacturers who have to deal with the reality that we're in today and are making planning decisions further out. If successful, this new law would make California the largest economy in the world to use 100% clean energy. The three-day Global Climate Action Summit starts tomorrow, but starting today, parts of Howard Street will be closed for the next month, and that's a street that runs right by the venue. In San Francisco, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. Now, Governor Brown said that about 20% of the state's climate change strategy comes from that cap-and-trade program.